Shall we begin? Hey everybody, and I'm on Glendora here, and today I'm going to be reading your comments. I got a lot of comments here uh, that I haven't read, uh, but I'm going to read them. But I'm going to read them now. Uh, so here we go. Let's see. In the uh, in my Danny Phantom vlog for the pilot episode, Shadow the Hedgehog says. Okay, uh, even I knew as a kid that Mystery Meat was bullshit, so yeah. Uh, okay. And I'm just going down a list of all these comments that I've never read before, that I've never read before. Uh, and I apologize if I mispronounce any names. I am sorry about that. Um, but let's see. Adrian Roberto uh, Ruz Martin. Martinez uh, says, "What a nice guy!" And that was in the video. And that was in the video I shot of Doug Walker, aka the Nostalgia Critic, telling people to subscribe to my channel. Harley uh, Harley Quinn says, "In my month of Mongogist, uh, when I talked about Monster Infirmary, uh, she said." Uh, <laughs> Yo, you sound dead. You need to liven up. Yes, in the month of Mongogist, uh, for a few episodes, I was very tired. Uh, I hadn't been sleeping well. I hadn't been sleeping well for a few days, and I, as a result, my content suffered greatly. Uh, so I apologize for sounding like that, Harley Quinn. Uh, but I'm trying to. Uh, get better. I'm trying to get better sleep. Trying to uh, spend more time making videos for you guys. So hopefully that won't happen again. I do apologize about that. Um, and then uh, in the month of anime, when I talked about my least favorite animes, uh, oh god, I'm gonna botch this name, Ignacio. Or Lignacio. I can't tell if that's a capital I or a lowercase l. Uh, this is one of my favorite animes. And he is talking about uh, the Flowers of Evil anime. And I personally don't like that. I don't think it's a good representation of the manga. I don't think it would... I don't think it was done well. And I have no issue with live-action animes. I've seen a few live-action animes. They're fine. Uh, I've s and I like both live-action and cartoon animes. But you should never take live-action and just paint over it and call it an anime. Very thinly paint over it and call it an anime because when a cartoon tries to make faces that we humans make in real life, it doesn't come out well. It comes out very weird and awkward and disturbing. Um, anime is like very big and expressive. And honestly, I think that that would have been a better choice in terms of Flowers of Evil. Because there's a lot of times in the series where uh, you really dive into the, into the character psyche. And like the screen gets all wide and they make all these... It faces that only anime, cartoon anime characters could make. Real life people could never make those kinds of faces. That's why I think that uh, it's not that good. It's a combination of the poor anim of the poor animation and the fact that it just the I didn't feel like these were the characters that I loved in the manga. They didn't feel like they felt like completely different characters. I don't think it was represented well. Uh, let's see. Ashley Paginton says, uh, Nephilim is half angel, half demon, a.k.a. Denny. I have no idea who Nephilim is. I feel like I should know, but I don't under, but I don't get that reference. I, apo I apologize, Ashley. Or Ashley. I don't know. I'm, again, I'm sorry if I botch any of these names. Uh, Margaret Hogan. Uh, Margaret Hogan says, uh, yes, it does fit. Oh, and 
uh, the comment from Ashley uh, was on my uh, Danny Phantom terrible uh, terrible theory. Um, Margaret Hogan s- stated on my Ben Ten uh, reboot fits in the timeline theory. Says yes, it does fit in. Now I have actually watched some episodes of the reboot, and while my theory does still hold up. I kind of wish it didn't, because I don't like this reboot. I really don't. I think it's terrible. Like, I get that it's aimed at a young... I get that it's aimed at a younger audience, but this just completely throws out everything that the other four shows had done. Um, and it, it, the, the only example I'll give, because I don't want to spend too much time talking about this the only example i'll give is how the characters move and how in the original they felt very human like they could actually get hurt like they could actually get hurt in the reboot it's like i'm watching looney tunes mixed with ben 10 characters get flattened out get characters get flattened out and they just like pump air into each other, and boom, they're back to normal. It feels like a Looney Tunes version of Ben 10. That's the best way I can describe it. And I, I, I don't think it's good. I, I don't like it. Um, Hype, uh, Hyper Shattuck also says on the same theory, uh, I'm with you, bro. Ben 10 is boss. Yes, it is. Uh, I love... I love the series. I'm not a big fan of Alien Force. I was never a big fan of Alien Force. That is until the third season when Vilgax showed up. That's when I thought Alien Force got interesting. I did not care for the DNA aliens in Alien Force. Ultimate Alien was fine. Omniverse was awesome. The original was awesome. So, like, I've enjoyed all the series to some extent. Uh... Nemo Tube also says on the exact same video, uh, love the original and Alien Force, but with Ultimate Alien, I like the alien. Uh, I like the new aliens, and that's it. S- uh, small with Omniverse, but some of the storylines in the show are great. The new series has definitely got my attention. Uh, yeah, to each their own. I I just stated my opinion, so. Oh, um, yeah, I liked the aliens in Ultimate Alien 2. I liked the new stuff in, I liked the new aliens in Ultimate Alien 2. Those, that was awesome. Uh, I liked a lot of stuff in Omniverse. I thought it was really good. Uh, honestly, I see that as, like, the true, uh, sequel to, uh, the original Ben 10 show. Because I thought that Alien Force and Ultimate Alien, I didn't think that either one of them really felt like a true sequel to the original Ben 10. It felt like it was like a sequel to a more mature show than Ben 10 was. I mean, Ben 10, the original Ben 10 had a lot of mature themes, had a lot of mature themes, but not to the extent that Alien Force and Ultimate Alien had. So like, it didn't really feel like a sequel to Ben 10. It was, but it didn't feel like it. So... Uh, but that's why I like Omniverse a little bit more than the other two. Uh, let's see. Captain Emmerich Yang. About the whole timeline being different due to the Omnitrix Big Bang and starting a new timeline because of that event may be somewhat genius. But it's obvious that they didn't have any intentions of continuing the series as a different timeline. This reboot is just a shameful cash grab. I didn't understand most of that except for the last sentence. The the reboot is a shameful cash grab. Yes, it is. It is. I can say that now with com- I can say that now with confidence because I've seen the reboot and I do not think it's very good. I do not think it's good. And, uh, th- uh, the only, th- the only new alien I think it's brought to the table is, like, a water hazard ripoff. I don't remember what it's called. I don't remember what it's called, but, uh, it's, it's water hazard. He just has a different name and a different look. Uh, but 
I do not like stink flies new look. I really don't. I think it looks terrible. Um, Jack O'Brien says, man, I wish this is true. And I worked. looks like we're going to be on the whole Ben 10 theory for a while. Man, I wish this is true. Uh, sadly, it looks like it is. Um, Chris Salford says, Ben didn't change the timeline. He was just partially responsible for the creation of his own universe. Uh, the canon only explanation would be that this new show just takes place in another universe. Sadly, it does take place in the same universe. Um, as we've gotten confirmation. Uh... Blaze Gaming says, guys, why isn't the first episode of Ben 10 reboot is Ben getting the Omnitrix? Is there going to be one? No. No, there won't. Uh, Cartoon, Network is Cartoon Network is basically just throwing you into this reboot. Uh, pretty much with the expect expectation that you already know how Ben got the Omnitrix. However, you wouldn't know that unless you watched the original series. And this is supposed to be a way to bring in a younger audience. <laughs> You're not bringing in a younger audience by forcing them to watch a series, a series that was watched by my generation. You're not going to bring them in if you do this. And that's why it's doing terribly. It's doing so badly on Cartoon Network. I think the first season ended, and it's just had terrible views all around. Okay, n okay. Uh, I think the Ben Ten reboot will uh, ultimate way Big Ten says. I think the reboot will be one of the alternate Bens from uh, from, and then there were none. Oh, oh, right. The epis uh, the episode in Omniverse. And then there were none. Uh, slash, and then there was Ben. Uh, now, that is, po that is possible, but sadly, it does look like it takes place in the actual timeline that the other shows have set up. Um, and let's see. Now, okay. Now we're moving on to other stuff. Uh... Stacy Jones says, in my Danny Phantom terrible theory, Danny Phantom defeated the devil. Fangirls until I die. Rest in peace. Uh, 